Okay, um, hello everyone, this is Sapphire Sapphic. Um, I wanted to make a quick demonstration of my moderately successful gyro aim set up for Wind Waker Randomizer specifically. I can imagine this will probably work with a lot of dolphin games, but, um, like, GameCube specifically, I, I didn't see anyone, uh, making videos about how to set up gyro for, um, for GameCube games with Dolphin. Um, so I figured I'd, I'd make a little video. Um, so the Xbox controller is showing what I'm actually inputting. By the way, um, just for reference, I'm using a official Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Um, and this is connected uh, to my computer via Bluetooth. And then I am using um, Better Joy for Simu, um, which is a popular program because it can actually detect um, gyro inputs from your controller. Um, I'm using Better Joy version 5. I know that there are much more recent versions available, but for whatever reason, um, they do not work with my controller. Um, so I'm, I'm just using Better Joy 5 because it what's, it's what works for me. Um, you should probably use some fiddling if you're going to use an official Switch Pro controller. But anyways, um, so yeah, the Xbox controller shows what I'm actually inputting. The GameCube overlay shows what Dolphin detects me as inputting. Um, so you can see, like, I have my C-stick inverted for the camera. Um, and then I also have, I have my Z button set to L. And then I have it so that whenever I hold down R1, it's now using gyro to detect the left stick. Um, so I thought this would be pretty useful when aiming, and turns out I was right. Um, it's not quite as good as, like, modern motion controls might be, but it's functional to a level that I'm happy with, uh, to be honest. Um, and then you can also, you know, let go of R1 at any time, and it'll stop detecting the gyro inputs. Um... Yeah, and you can see I also, I made it so that tilting the controller up, you know, it, it, it's inverse of, of what uh, the controller expects. Um, and so how did I actually accomplish this? So if you go to the motion controls, first of all, um, in the controller settings, you have to go to alternate input sources um and enable dsu um and that's assuming that you're using you know a program like better joy um and then i have this if r1 gyro pitch down and if not r1 then it'll just use the left stick um and how you can assign this is if you right click then you get to this menu and you can, you know, customize it all. Um, so, yeah, that's how I got Gyro Aim in Wind Waker Randomizer. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, but it feels pretty good to me. So, I'm, I'm happy enough with that. Bye.